Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Liquid Image Video Goggle. Now, if we take a peek of it, I had it in front of me. This is a new style product that we're seeing at RevZilla right on the heels of the craze of HD moto cams or snowmobile or dirt bike cams that we've seen. We've seen some other manufacturers do some different things. My favorite thing about the Liquid Image, because we have been playing with it and riding with it a little bit here at RevZilla, is that in our opinion, this is the only camera on the market that truly is like mounting a camera right between your eyes. If we come in tightly here on it and we look, the camera is mounted right between your eyebrows. It sits within the housing of the goggle and it truly will capture everything that you're seeing while you're riding. It's a really a really nice touch and gives you that true rider's perspective versus being mounted on top of a helmet, mounted on the side, mounted somewhere on your bike. It's truly going to give you exactly what you're looking at. If we look at the housing, you can see the camera unit that's built right in. Again, this is a fully functioning goggle. The goggle and camera really come in. There are four different options that you can buy with the liquid image here. There's going to be two resolutions. The lesser expensive one's going to be the 720p, which is in that low $200 range. If you want to go to full 1080, you can. The full 1080 cam actually shoots full 1080 or it shoots slow motion, 60 frames per second, second in 720 mode. That's over $300. But then there's two options. It's really two configurations. There's the impact series, which is meant for dirt riding, and that's going to include a nose guard as well as tear-offs. And all of the goggles have tear-off posts, but the tear-offs included are included on the impact series. And then you're going to have the summit series, which is really your more snow version which comes with a single walled lens as well as a double walled lens included. The double walled lens is not included on the impact series again because that's the more moto version. So if we look at this we don't recommend it for street riding. We've played around with it. We took it out on the street. You know if you're wearing it on the street bike you're gonna cut down on your peripheral vision so in our opinion that's not the best use for this guy. But on the dirt, on a snowmobile, it's got a full featured setup for a goggle. It's a sturdy construction. Obviously, your camera's built in. This is the impact series. You notice I have the nose guard here. But then we have an adjustable strap silicon on the strap. Notice when I turn it backwards, you're going to see that we have the padding on the back that's going to interface with your face. And then we even have venting that's foam padded and it's breathable along the top ridge here. You can see it where my finger is. Now if we go into more of the camera mechanism and how you operate it, this is really what people are most curious about most likely. The first thing I want to note is this is this is ride and video ready right out of the box. So it's going to come with everything you need. So when you open this guy up, now again I'm impact series here, it's both series and both resolutions are going to come with your component adapter that's going to connect to your TV with a micro USB. And then the way you're going to charge this guy is through the included micro SD or micro USB cord. So this is going to go into your computer or some other source that has power. And this bad boy is going to, if we spin it around to the back, I'm going to show you the control panel here. This micro USB is going to connect right here. I'm going to spin it the right way and it'll go right in. Don't want to break it. There we go. Didn't have it lined up correctly. And that's how you're going to charge this guy. And it's going to let you know by the lights on the panel when it's done charging. Also, I want to note while I have this open here, and you can come in here really tightly, you can see where I connected that USB, but also the when I say it's ride ready out of the box, it actually comes with a four gigabyte micro SD card, which is really nice. And four gigabytes for even 720 P of resolution, you know, you're getting hundreds of photos. This will take still JPEG photos that are 4,000 by 3,000. But really, when you start to get into HD video, there's just tons of data being collected. So you're looking maybe probably less than 20 minutes. So what we recommend is if you buy this, you're going to have that great 4 gig card that allows you to use it day one. But you might want to think about going to a 16 gig or a 32 gig card that are really going to allow you to get a ton of footage, you know, hours of footage while you're out there on the slopes or on your dirt bike without having to change the cards. The other nice part is that I'll tell you, you're going to fill a memory card long before you're going to run out of battery. The basic battery that's included here, it's a rechargeable lithium ion battery and it interfaces and it's installed right over here. This is going to usually stay right in the goggles. Unless you had a backup battery, there's not really a reason you'd be pulling it out. So it's going to live right in this housing 
and then you're going to charge it just by connecting this to your computer or the power source to the USB. But you get 120 minutes of video footage um, on this bat on one battery charge. You also get, I think, 20,000 or 5,000. I think it's going to be over 500 pictures. So with the initial card, you're really going to have plenty of runway there to get the right amount of pictures without running out of juice. Now, as far as operation, we found operation to be really, really simple. So we have two buttons here on the front. The bottom button is your mode button. It's also your power button. So what I'm going to do is when I push this, it's going to turn the camera on. And if I hold it for three seconds, it turns the camera off. Also, once it's on, I switch between. It's very easy, and you can tell while you're riding. Once I switch it backwards here, you're going to come in really tight here. I want to show this control panel up top. So I'm going to push the bottom button here, which is the mode button. And you should see, you should see it light up red or light up blue. It's going to light up blue. And when you're riding, it's not in your eyes, but it is clearly visible. So you're going to be able to tell that it's in blue mode. Blue, anytime you see a light, it's turned on. And blue means it's in video mode. So to start and stop, I would actually push the top button. And that is my begin recording or stop recording button. Easy to find with a goggle. It's going to be really usable. And it's rubberized and has a texture to it. You can see there's some kind of bullets on it. So you're going to be able to feel that with a glove. Now, if I turn it back around, I hit the power button slash mode button one more time. You see that blue? It's going to turn and it's going to change to red. And red means I'm in video still mode. And when I press the top button then, every time I press it, you see I just did it. It flashed. That means I took a picture. Now, what you might or may not be able to see is we have a, a solid LCD screen here. The LCD screen says how many files you have. It says how much battery life you have. And it lets you know via arrow whether you're in still mode, whether you're in video mode, and if you have a card installed. There's 32, memory, 32 megabytes of kind of internal cache that are on this guy, but that memory, don't be confused. That's not going to store your photos. That's not set up so that you're going to be able to record right to it. That's just kind of the working memory for the camera. And what we found was, now I'm going to turn this guy off. I switched to blue. I'm going to hold it in. You're going to see it go off altogether. It should beep three times. There you go. The blue dot goes away, and now I've turned it off. So again, really simple to operate. Even when you're wearing it, whether you're dirt, whether you're snow, you're going to be able to see either whether it's going to glow blue or glow red, and you're going to be able to tell what's going on there. And then with the two-button configuration and the sound, the fact that it'll beep, it's going to let you know what mode it's in. It's very easy to operate. One of my big gripes with a lot of the other cameras is they install well. You can get them interfaced with your bike or your helmet, but then you're always kind of riding and being slightly distracted of what you're looking at. Am I recording or am I not? So that's one of our favorite standout features here with the Liquid Image. We want to hear what you think about the Liquid Image. So leave us a note, leave us feedback, like or dislike it on YouTube or on Facebook. We absolutely want to hear your feedback of what you think of the Liquid Image and certainly your opinion after you start using one. So leave us that feedback. Also, we review new product every week here at RevZilla.com. So shoot us a line or, or subscribe to us on RevZilla TV on your YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any questions about the Liquid Image, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com, 877-792-9455. As always, it's over, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free. We'll exchange for free. If you don't like it, send it back. We'll give you 100% back to your card. And re remember, when you send us back any electronics like this, they have to be in brand new condition, unused condition, uninstalled condition with 100% of the parts. And I do want to mention, as I'm in my outro here, that we do have the adapter. I, I glanced over it earlier. But what you're going to get is this adapter, this SD adapter. So it's a micro SD card. You're going to plug that micro SD card right into this card. And this will actually go right into your computer through the slot. So you're going to be able to get that footage without a special cable. You know, you can always plug this guy into your TV and play it on your TV and walk through the video on your TV. But if you want to transfer it to your computer, you know, that micro slot, the micro card goes into the SD adapter and this goes right into your, into your computer. So it's going to work really, really well. Remember, too, that, you know, outside of shipping and return and all that good stuff we do for free, if you, if you, uh, when you buy it from us, you're going to earn TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order. So remember, four options. Here, 1080 or 720, and then Impact Series or Summit Series. Find it on RevZilla.com in our electronics and uh, riding cameras section of the site. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.